All right, I thought I'd make this video really just to demonstrate how good Tesla self-driving is. Um, as I post some clips and shorts, I get so many negative comments about how terrible Tesla is and how bad the software is and that it's not capable of driving itself truly. Um, and it's amazing how defensive I feel myself getting for something that I didn't make. I have nothing invested in. I'm just uh, someone happily using the software. Um, but I think there's a component where it just in a general way, people aren't aware of Tesla full self-driving and how good it is or how good it has become from when it was initially launched. Um, so obviously it's software, there are updates every, uh, probably every month or so I get an update and it progressively has gotten better and better um, to the point where it is so good. I use it pretty much every day, anywhere I go, to and from work, um, out and about doing things. Um, and as you can see right now, it's driving me to work. So far, so good. Um, so hopefully, this video does show how good it is and I don't have any problems. And that's not to say that there aren't still problems because there are. Um, and if you look at the clips I post as shorts on my channel, you'll see plenty of those things where things go wrong. However, I would say it's important to note that I post a lot on there and I use it all the time every day. So those things where I'm posting where something went wrong, that's the exception. Um, and it's more be aware that these are some things that can still happen. But 99% of the time, this car drives itself, drives me where I need to go end to end. Um, I would say in most cases where there's an intervention with me taking over, it's not even half that time, it's me feeling uncomfortable and doing something. But even then those are, it's such a small percentage of times. Um, I guess, I don't know where to start if you're not familiar with it, but if you can see from the start of this video so far, I engaged self-driving and I haven't intervened yet. And we've gone, made some turns, gone around cars, multiple traffic lights, um, and we'll continue on that path here. Um, you know, like as Tesla has gotten better with this, they've adapted how they're doing things over time. So initially the first versions had radar sensors built into the car along with the cameras for vision to decide how to drive. Um, they did remove radar from cars and are now solely relying on vision. Um, and a lot of people are saying that that was a bad move and that they won't be able to achieve self-driving that way. I, I definitely disagree. Um, I, I definitely think you could go either path. I think vision is the path that's going to work best in the end. Um, but when it had radar and vision, you would get really hard stops and abrupt things happening. And the reason for that was it was getting conflicting data from the cameras and the sensors. So once they removed them and switched to vision only, the rides got so much smoother. Um, it used to be if it, there would be phantom braking where like right now it would brake hard for no reason. Or if you're just, if the car in front of you gets to a stop sign or a light, it would stop really hard, um, super uncomfortable to be a passenger in. That stuff's gone. It is super smooth with stops and starts now. Um, I don't remember the last time I had any kind of phantom braking where it did that. And I attribute that to them switching to vision only. So then the next adaptation they did was, um, or they're working on now, that's, I'm on version 11, which is a lot of hard-coded lines. There's a version 12 that's in test with, internally in Tesla. Um, and that is using the neural network, an end-to-end -end neural network, where it is taking the input of the cameras as vision, and based on what it's been trained on through billions of videos, it's choosing an output. So it's basically seeing as a human would and reacting as it's been shown humans do when they see what it is seeing. Um, and that is gonna lead to exponential growth in performance because it can continue being trained on the billions of videos that Tesla has from the fleet of cars that are driving. <coughs> so I expect to see just continued improved in performance. Sorry, choking here. Um, as you can see, it's good when we have traffic, when we don't have traffic, still handling all that just fine. So, 
Vision's a big deal. End-to-end -end neural networks are a big deal. But that end-to-end -end neural network process being trained on those billions of videos is something that competition doesn't have. And, um, you know, I saw a, a uh, comment in one of my shorts that I posted talking about how bad self-driving cars are and how they're not reacting to emergency vehicles. And it showed a group of self-driving cars in Austin, Texas that were completely paralyzed and uh, emergency vehicles couldn't get through. However, it's important to point out that those were Waymo cars um, by Google and they're not using vision only. They're using LiDAR on top of it along with radar sensors um, and some vision. But it's those things that where we had problems with Tesla in the past are causing those problems now for those. Um, and they're committed to LiDAR. So I don't know that that's going to improve. Teslas have not been in that situation. Um, this car, if a couple things happen, if there is an emergency vehicle, police car, fire truck, ambulance, um, it detects them, it moves out of the way, it lowers the speed, and it uh, adjusts for that vehicle coming through. Um, but I guess my thought is that a lot of the comments I see when I see things like that are people that don't know what Tesla's capable of and how good it is. You know, they're generalizing all the videos they see online of different companies and what they're doing, um, where Tesla just has a clear advantage and are so far ahead of the rest. I really don't feel very confident about the other ones, and it's not just because I have a Tesla or like Tesla. It's the performance is clearly very different right now um, with how those cars are working compared to Tesla. I think the, uh, you know, very much like Apple, uh, Tesla creates the hardware and the software big difference from what other companies are doing and you see the success Apple has had with it I think Tesla is going to enjoy the same success with that um, but controlling that end-to-end -end experience and performance of the car I don't think other car manufacturers are going to be able to keep up not to say that somebody else couldn't invent something that performs as well but I think the time it will take to train something like that is so long uh, Tesla's been working on this for so many years and has the billions of videos to train on from the cars that exist and are out driving today that I don't see how anyone else could catch up to the performance. So I think we're going to see a lot of auto manufacturers licensing Tesla's full self-driving once it comes out of beta. Um, Elon has said that version 12 will not be a beta. The hurdle there still and um, it is government regulation, right? Is it going to be allowed? And at what point will it be allowed? And who's allowed to have self-driving? And is it manufacturer by manufacturer? Is there a test on performance? Those things are all still being worked out. Uh, I'm definitely a big fan of Elon Musk, but I think anybody, fan or critic, will say that his timelines are very wrong. Uh, I will defend him when people say, oh, he said he was going to do X, Y, and Z, and it hasn't happened. Um, I think if you look historically at Elon, everything he said he's going to do has ha it, it is happening. It's his timelines are just way off. He's clearly very optimistic on timelines, or he's just setting aggressive timelines to drive performance of the organizations he has. Um, but the things do come to reality. They're just on a different timeline than he announces. So again, I'm not sure how long we've been driving so far, a little while for sure. I haven't intervened at all cars driving itself. I hope this is showing you that Tesla self-driving is really truly there um, and is capable and again as we continue to get iterations on software improvements you're just going to see that performance get better and better. Um, I would say a lot of this time a lot of the time this car is set on self-driving it's driving safer than I would um, and certainly I would say safer than the average person at this point. So there's a lot of truth in what he says about reducing accidents and making cars safer for everyone by doing this. Um, you see as we change lanes, it's picking which lane is going to be faster. Um, and it just does this all autonomously. I'm not controlling anything. Um, anyway, hope that shows you that Tesla self-driving is pretty capable and it's come really far. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, check out some of the other videos I have. If you're more interested in seeing the things that go wrong, I have them too. Just take a look at my channel, you'll see plenty of close calls and things that are the reason why it is still a beta today and um, not just the 
way the car drives. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot. See you next time.